What's going on, guys? Welcome back. A little bit different commentary for you. Do me a favor, take a moment, hit the like button, subscribe button, criticism in the comment section, Twitter, Shutdown Safety is my username. For many of you, you know, most of my athletic experience came in auto racing, and it's been a long time, partially because EA kind of took over the, the NASCAR game market since there was a console release for a PS3, obviously a PS4, when it comes to NASCAR games. So NASCAR Heat Evolution was really like a hyped game. And it came out, I guess, a couple months ago. And really, I kind of picked it up on a whim because, you know, Target had, you know, buy one, no, 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 uh, get no. two for free. And this was kind of my free game. So I figured, you know, no harm, no foul. But I also noticed that, you know, the community for this game is, literally, I'll say it, it's dead. And uh, what I wanted to go ahead and do is uh, just, uh, I guess, a season with you guys. Um, and for some of you, probably won't like this at all. Others of you will probably like to know a little bit more about me as a person. But regardless, you know, that's what we're going to do here. This game, I've, uh, I've spent some time with it. I don't, I don't mind it. It has some very interesting characteristics to it. Uh, but hopefully, you know, I've worked on a lot of racing games. I, I beta tested iRacing. Uh, I worked with uh, the NASCAR games for a really long time, so, you know, hopefully they can continue to build this game. I think the problem is, I just don't think they had enough uh, feedback or ability for feedback. So, I guess I'll kind of go through that. In the beginning of this, you know, you basically pick out a team, pick out a car, uh, you go out and you, you kind of get these sponsorship things, and, and we'll go through them together kind of one by one. But, you know, these are kind of your, your practice races. Um, for a game that really set itself with customization i'm really amazed that so far from what i've played there isn't a whole lot of customization so you also see right there like the car jerks around i mean why would it you know why would it do that after all that so i went with number 99 you know i didn't want to touch number eight because you know you just don't do that a couple numbers uh i really wasn't fond of so i went with number 99 you get a primer car and essentially in the beginning you know you're going to find yourself running you know mid-pack for a lot of these races. Now here, I'll just show you. This is actually something you really cannot do in real life. I should not be passing cars before the start finish line on the inside. This game really doesn't take that into effect, which which I think is really strange. Also, the draft is very odd. Uh, and a lot of complaints about the AI in this game. I, I really don't have a problem with the AI, but I do have a problem with the fact that you can see right there, I'm able to kind of go on the apron at will. Um, there are some tracks that the drivers will do that, this really not being one of them all that often. And uh, going down on the apron like that does not upset the car at all. Like from a geometry standpoint, that would really upset a race car. Uh, and in this game, I, I don't like that you can continue to kind of just go on and off as I uh, run into the recently retiring Brian Scott there. Um, so, you know, the, the closure of this thing is also very weird. I mean, right now I can tell you the controller is just constantly vibrating because I'm in a draft. And at first I, I felt that was okay because, you know, I like this, you know, something to signify we're, we're drafting. But the fact of, of how the controller goes about it is a little bit weird it's like a low rumble constantly so it's not as if when you're playing this game you ever get used to not being in the draft because even tracks that predominantly aren't you know draft heavy tracks the, the game still seemingly just does it and it, it gets to a point where you feel like the controller is just vibrating because it's a racing game you know not because it's it's actually showing your car drafting if that makes any sense so five hour energy for some reason not in the game um, although Abacare is uh, that I really find strange because Advocare is really like a supplement company as well and I know they make products very similar to 5 Hour Energy so I don't know if maybe 5 Hour just didn't give the rights to, uh, to this game but uh, they've elected to just go with the Clinton Boyer branding on the car and you can see here uh, to me when people complain about the AI in this game I actually think it's relatively decent uh, you'll see some times where cars go on the apron unexpectedly but to me, I mean, when I'm watching racing or, or when I've always been involved in racing, you know, cars do string out like this on these intermediate tracks. They don't all run together. So I, I really haven't seen anything terrible with the AI that makes me say, oh my God, this game is unplayable, like I've heard other people talking about. I also really haven't been paying attention as to where I started here, but I'm hoping I can at least get a top 25. Uh, these five lap races are relatively short, obviously, so if you can't get a whole much done, I, I think I qualified 30th. So that wouldn't be too terrible. Um, obviously, I haven't hit much. 
I will say one thing. When you finish this race, you, you'll see that they bring up like a little speed rating. There's nothing that talks about how exactly that speed rating is calculated or what it's based on. So very, again, just very odd that that is just a number that, that's there. And, uh, you know, for what it's worth there, that's going to be the first little short race, if you will, 25th, so a five-position we'll gain. Time. I guess not too bad. I will go through these, and there's the speed rating calculating, and then it'll times it, sometimes it'll times by how many laps you ran. Um, obviously, well, right there it did, times five. So I will go through, you know, basically a full season with this. Uh, there are some good things I like about the career mode that we talk about. There's some things that I hate. So love to know your guys' opinion on this video. Appreciate you checking it out. 